I've always had the problem of maintaining uh, grass and brush on this property. Uh, I've got lots of steep cuts like this. This is a steep back cut behind my house and I have poplar trees and pine trees and grasses and weeds growing on here. So let me show you what I bought in an attempt to try to control this vegetation. This is the rut uh, brush mower. This is the 36 inch model. Uh, it's the model EBM36. And they set it up for 16 GPM. I had the Wayne Roy connector on it, but they set it up for whatever type of connector you have on your excavator. And I've got it hooked up to my Volvo EC35C, which is a three and a half ton excavator. So I've tried it yesterday for the first time and it works great. I thought maybe the mower would be a little too heavy or wouldn't have enough auxiliary uh, hydraulic power, but it runs great. Since I'm at an angle now, you have to get the, uh, the tilt of the mower at the correct angle. But as you sweep to the left, you're getting further and further away from the work. So you have to lower your boom and extend your stick. So it's a little, it takes a little getting used to, I guess. This is only my, uh, probably like I'm still in my first hour operating this thing, so not quite used to it yet but I'm just taking my time trying to learn the controls trying to get a feel for it now I've got it I've got it tilted almost all the way back I've got the thing turning oh I'm able to get behind this tree a little bit you gotta have the proper angle, you gotta have the proper height. And now, like you said, as, as I go down the hill, I'm having to uh, tilt backwards, uh, lower my boom and extend my stick. Overall, I must say this, I've only operated one hour, but man, I really like it. It's just been so great to cut these banks without having to be out there in the sun with a weed eater. I was also concerned that this mower was going to be too heavy and I was going to get real tippy uh, reaching out to the side of my tracks. But I get a little bounce, but it's not bad at all. As a matter of fact, it's not as bad as my 44-inch uh, tilt bucket that I bought from Mongo Attachments. When I got that thing loaded, I have to be really careful but this thing's fine. Now you see when I cut from right to left, I can't really see the right side of my mower. I have to bend over and really reach, crane my neck. It's better for me to cut from right to left because the left side of the mower is really clear. This little slope going up here to the edge of the woods, it's a little steep. I can do it with my tractor by uh, backing up this hill, but my tires, uh, kind of slip and spin and uh, it's a little difficult so uh, let's see what I can do with the with the excavator
for those of you that are uh, curious about the hydraulics, I'm going to show you what I had to do to get that working. So first of all, this is the hydraulic line that runs the, the thumb. So what I did is I put a diverter valve right here. So now I can switch this valve either way. One way runs the thumb, the other way runs the auxiliary hydraulics. Now I have a tilt bucket that I can hook up to this with quick, the quick disconnects. But right now I have it hooked up to the mower. So all I have to do is come and switch this over and hook up the hydraulics. But there's one more thing you have to do. You have to put your excavator in hammer mode. So when you're running a thumb or a tilt bucket, it's that uh, the fluid can come in from the right or from the left. So you either run it one direction or the other. With a hydraulic motor, it has to only run in one direction. So what you do is there's a valve on your excavator. It may be on your computer. It may be an electronic uh, switch that switches this over, or it may be an actual valve like what I have. And what that does is that it creates flow in one direction and then the return flow goes right back to the reservoir. So you can't run the motor backwards and I was told that that could ruin it. So let me show you where the, um, the valve is. This is my side compartment and here's the radiator. And this valve is right in front of my radiator. So this is the valve right here that I just switched. So normally when it's in this direction, it runs the thumb or the tilt bucket. That's a two way. And when you switch it over here, it runs one way. It's called hammer mode. So that's it, it's pretty easy. I got, um, I get it hooked up and um, I have two valves to switch and it's ready to go. Another uh, thing I wanna mention is super important is to, to do any kind of uh, mowing, whether you have a mulcher or a mower, you really should have some protection to protect the operator. So that's why I bought a closed in cab. An open cab is very dangerous because um, you can see the warning right here. It says danger, stay back 300 feet. And believe me, this stuff flies when you're mowing. All right, well that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And <clears throat> if you like this kind of thing, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I try to put out a video oh, every three or four weeks uh, whenever I have something new that I'm doing and in, that I think it might be a little interesting. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.